Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, uh, my name is uh, Sheila Duenas. My Muslim name is Nada, and I'm from Philippines. So, my journey in Islam, uh, it started, uh, when I revert, it started on uh, last uh, year, 2015. So, it started when, uh, when I was in Philippines at home. I was browsing my Facebook and then uh, suddenly there is a page came out, it's about Islam. And then I see uh, it's written there how to love the family. They're teaching about love in the family, especially in your mom, in Islam. So I started to try again to search another, another uh, about uh, Islam. And then after that I found uh, Mary and then Jesus in Islam. Then after I said, really, this is also here in Islam? I don't believe because uh, before I believe only they're praying about Muhammad. I don't know Allah. And after that, uh, it came for me like, I just wanted to know more about Islam. So I just uh, searching and this one I started to search. Then after that, I met a girl, a friend in Facebook. I don't know her, but I just add her so that I can see all the news feed about Islam. Then after that, I have the connection to her. I send message and then I ask about Islam. And then uh, she explained to me some of uh, the rules in Islam, the belief in one God. And then after that, I realized, I said, uh, believe in one God? Yes, we believe in one God. but. Uh, she, asked, she told me, you believe in one God, but you don't believe in the, the one who give uh, power or message to the, all the prophets. Then I said, who is the God in Islam? She said to me, it's Allah. I said, who is Allah? She said to me, the ones giving all the, the uh, blessings, all the one who create this world. So I feel happy, like, I felt happy with that one, with the news I heard like that. Then I'm thinking for myself, I wanted to know, I wanted to seek knowledge, but I don't know how to start. And then when, while I'm searching this one continuously, it came to my mind that I wanted to go in any part of the Middle East. So I'm looking which, one I, which, should, which, uh, which country I should go. And then I choose uh, in Kuwait. But after that, I said I need to make a plan. First, I don't, I don't want to tell to my family because uh, we are close family, but then uh, changing the religion, I know it will be uh, difficult for me. I know my mom will stop me with that one. And then after that, uh, while planning this one, by mistake, my sister see me while searching this one. I know it will reach there, but my sister told me, uh, mom, you're, my, you're, my sister, she's searching this uh, about Islam. And then suddenly my mom told me, uh, when you go in Kuwait, not to change your religion. So what I did, because I don't want to have a long conversation, I just tell, yes, mom, I will not change. I said, I just wanted to go there to work. But my main thing is, is I wanted to learn Islam. So the time passed, uh, I stopped uh, searching this Islam because I don't want to have a conversation with my family so I hope I have also I disconnected also with that lady I, I chatting in Facebook and then afterwards uh, that day I'm going now in Kuwait so I have my visa I reached there after that uh, I started to work maybe it takes four months like that four months I'm continuously working after that, uh, it stopped like that when I said I wanted to go in Islam, but something it made me stop. I'm thinking, I said, I know already the God, you should pray in one God, but uh, I'm thinking about this wearing the hijab. I said, it is difficult for me. I think I cannot. I said, and about the fasting. I said before, maybe I will die if I will try to fast because I never did in my life this one. But after that, I said, uh, okay, I said maybe not now, maybe in another, another day like that, I can, uh, I can go there and search this one, the Islamic Center to learn about Islam. And then one day, it made me surprised. 
this uh, lady who chatted me, the one I had in Facebook, she greeted me, I, she said to me, hello sister, where are you now? She said to me like that. I said, uh, I'm good. I said, I'm already here in Kuwait. I said, what about you? I said like that because she have also planned to go abroad, but I don't know, it's in Kuwait also. She said to me, I'm already in Kuwait too. She said to me like that. After that, I said, really? I said like that because I didn't meet her in Philippines. I could not meet her because of uh, my family. They will ask me for whom you will go, where you will go. So I don't want to have this uh, conversation with my family. And then after that, she, saw, she told me I'm working in hospital. I said, which hospital? Because I also work in hospital. She said me this, uh, the name in the hospital, same name. I said, uh, really? I said, you're working in the same hospital where I work? I said, yes. I said, I wanted to meet you. I said like that to her. And then when I meet her, I felt surprised because it's uh, from Philippines, we are chatting and I never met her. And then from Kuwait, suddenly it's in one place I met her. And then when I see her, I'm surprised she's younger than me. And how she's explaining me about the Islam, it's uh, she knows more. I think she's older than me. I said, I said, I'm thankful I said like that because I know you. From there and here in Kuwait, I met you. Maybe it's the, gui it's the guidance of Allah. It's the will of the Allah. And then after that, when I, she said to me, she's inviting me to go to the masjid, I said, I'm not ready. And then after that, it stopped there. And then uh, I'm busy at work, so I didn't get a time. Then after that, there's one time I wake up, I felt something like I could not breathe. And then it came to my mind, I said, to whom I will ask now help. I should ask to Jesus or I should ask to Allah. And then after I realized, I said, I should, maybe I should, I should believe in Allah. And I felt happy for that one, but I have the confused something because I, do, I don't know if, if I will change my religion, if there will be a changes for me, or maybe the people will, will go far away for me, or maybe my family will not accept me like that. It's all negative thinking for me. And then after that, when I felt that one, the next day, I plan to go in a Islamic center. So I sent message to that lady. I said, uh, sister, can you help me to go in that Islamic center where you're learning before? And it takes a year. She said to me, sister, uh, I'm already going in another country. So if you want, I can recommend you, you can go there. And then after that, okay, I said, I will go because uh, there is some more questions for me about Islam. After that, uh, when I'm going there, first I felt uh, nervous because that time I'm not still wearing the abaya. I don't wear the hijab. And when I see them, I felt scared <laughs> because uh, I said, I'm shy, I, I don't want to go there. It's like, uh, it's different for me, but I wanted to go. I need to learn, I wanted to know about Islam. So I decided to go, I go inside. And then I asked this uh, particular uh, the ustada, the one who's teaching there. And then uh, she said, I tell a sister, I'm the one who's uh, referred by one of the sister here. And then she said, okay, come in. She said to me like that. And then I have a question first. I said, sister, I said, I have a question. I said, I wanted to know if, if uh, Jesus and Mary is in Islam. I just I already read before, but I wanted to confirm it. And then she said to me, yes, she said to me, Jesus is in Islam. And if you don't believe Jesus, you're not a Muslim. I said, really? I said like that. Yes, she said to me. And then I said, uh, in Islam, I said like that. Uh, Who is the God in Islam? I said like that. It is Allah. She also repeated me the same my uh, this lady told to me. I said, okay, I said, this is it. I said, I accept it to myself suddenly like that. I know it is true. I felt something different for myself. And then uh, 
She told me, okay, are you ready to take shahada? Is this the one who you, you have to testify that there is one God and then the prophet, is the, uh, the last prophet is Prophet Muhammad. I said, okay, I said, I will do it. I said like that. Then they cover my head and then I took the shahada. When they said this one, the Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Then after I felt, then they said takbir, they said Allahu Akbar. And then I felt different. Then after that, uh, they said to me, Alhamdulillah, they said to me, you're reverting Islam already. You're just like a newborn baby, she said. The, your sins are wiped out. So it started there. When I knew Islam, you should, uh, they teach you how to pray and how to worship direct to God without the intercessor. We always believe uh, if there is something happened for you, you should not go like that. And this is all wiped out. And all something, all happened for you in your life, you should believe always in God only. Good or bad, you should be thankful. It's, it's, not, the, it's not the thing that makes you something bad like that. It is just the way it is. There is a plan for you. And then after that, they teach me these uh, five Islamic uh, pillars of Shahada, pillars of uh, Islam. And they tell me this about the Shahada, the, the Salah, the Zakat, the fasting and the Hajj. And then after that, I said, yeah, I said, when I realized my uh, before life, it's very different. Then after that, when I knew Islam, it's, uh, you know, you know what, what is your plan here in the world? Because in Islam, it teaches you what is your purpose in your life here. So your purpose in your life, it teaches in Islam, it's to worship God. Anything on that, it's only that one. And then after that, there is also, they're teaching also the life after death in Jannah. And then after that, they told me, all what's happening in your life here, it's just a test. You're having a blessing, it's just a test for you. You're having a problem in your life, it is also a test for you. It's just always you have to thank Allah, everything, what's happening in your life. Once you get the negative things, you should not tell them uh, bad things back to them. You should explain, you should explain what is Islam. And then after that, okay, I said, I need to learn this one. I need to learn more suburb, the patience. Because uh, it's uh, very difficult to me at that time. It changes me a lot, especially uh, when uh, having the, together with my uh, workmate. And then I didn't change. I said, I said, I tell to them, I didn't change. It changes only what is my belief in God. But still, it is me. It is the same. And then after that, in the end of time, they accepted me also. Doing Salah, it's uh, connecting, it's, uh, you're connecting to Allah every day. Five times Salah, it's very different. Because uh, sometimes there is a uh, there is the time that you will feel sad. Once you go to Salah to pray, it is uh, it wipe out. It makes you feel better. And then uh, it teaches you also how to love your uh, people, whether they are in another religion, your neighbor, your friends, like that. Because uh, sometimes uh, when you're uh, teaching another religion, when they don't accept, because I have the experience of that one. Once you go in the other religion, and then if you don't accept, it's like they, are, they, are not, they, will, not talk, they will not talk to you anymore. You'll, you'll just go far away. But in Islam, even you don't accept, there is, no, there is no compulsion. If you don't accept, it's okay. If you accept, okay. Because there, 
what you do, it will be accountable to you. So when I reach at home, uh, my mom see me uh, doing salah. She said to me, what you're doing? What you're doing, you're bowing like that in the floor, like that. And then I said, I'm doing salah. This is the one uh, Islam teaching how to pray. And then why there is a way like that? You can pray anywhere, she said to me like that. Yes, I said we can pray, but in the place where there is, there is no... Uh, there is no nothing clean like that, clean, clean place like that. I said then after that, mm, are you sure with the religion you choose? She said to me like that. I said yes, I said. Then after I started to tell them, I said, uh, Mom, I, you know, there is, uh, in Islam, there is the teaching that you should believe in one God, believe in one God. She said to me, yes, we believe in one God, my mom told. What you believe and what we believe is the same. Then after that, I said, no, I said like that. If he guide this person, he will. But if it is not in his way, he you will not get, even how much you try to tell them. But at least I share to my family because they teach, they told me, once you revert in Islam, the first thing you should do is to share Islam in your family. So if they accepted, Alhamdulillah. If not, maybe not now, maybe in another day. So my message in uh, my people in Philippines, uh, Islam is not uh, old re uh, new religion. It is before the religion of the old, old, old prophets, starting when Allah made Adam and Eve. So Islam is teaching uh, not like a terrorist. Islam is teaching how to love your people, whether you're in another religion or in Islam, Islam is teaching how you have to believe in God, one God only. It's the message from all the prophets. It's, it's like uh, different from other religion. It's different from other religion, why? Because when you worship Allah, you're having, uh, you're having this uh, peace of mind in your life because you know to whom you are praying. So, f my message for others, the one who's seeking knowledge in Islam, they should not stop. So, it should, should be, even when you're having the difficult times, you should go straight. Because if you seek the knowledge, Allah will give you the will, will give you the guide. So, even ha even you're having the difficulty, just go straight, just go direct. You should continue learning Islam. Because Islam is not teaching... Uh, Islam is teaching how to be, uh, how to love your uh, people, how to be thankful to Allah in every day of your life, whether it's good or bad. <laughs>